Blub blub everyone, welcome back to Distant Worlds 2. We are doing a new run I'm Gathering Emerald, if you don't know me. Hello there. Welcome. And uh, as always, we're going through what we've, what we've decided together uh, on stream. What this run should look like. We changed a few parameters um, to last time in comparison. Um, we are playing in a galaxy with only a thousand stars. So we'll see in the end how, how it holds up, you know. Um, we are still playing with a 10 by 10 galaxy though, 10 by 10 sectors, because of our species that we're gonna play and we want to use their specifics. Otherwise we, you know, just, if you go four by four in the beginning, you can go literally everywhere. And even with this one, we can go literally everywhere because we're starting at the core. So that's nice. Um, Galaxy aggression as always, extreme difficulty, yada yada yada. Research speed very slow. I heard that they fixed the um, random research again. Let's hope it, it works this time without problems, but we'll see. Um, tech trading is off as always. Only next project visible, yada yada yada. Everyone starting per se in pre warp. Um, per se, but you will see why. Uh, few pirates, very strong pirates. It's always bad for the AI to deal with very strong pirates, but we'll see. Hopefully, what I changed for them will help. Maybe we have found the, the perfect um, stuff there, but we'll, we'll see that. Space creatures, very many, as we should. Stay dead is for the, for, the, um, uh, for the pirates in here, because they should never respawn. That's just annoying. Colony prevalence is very rare, as we did before. Maybe we should go to rare because of so few stars, but whatever. We will have enough colonies, I hope. Independent colonies normal, as always, because those we'll need, definitely. Colony influence range. I keep that standard, even though we're playing with half the stars from last time. So maybe we have to take some bad colonies on to get to the better ones. I don't know, but we'll see. We're playing the Harkonish, that is why our range uh, should be no problem. And uh, yeah, Frogos. That's pretty neat. We're also re quite strong in, in troops, actually. We're almost as strong as the Boscarans. The Boscarans have 135, so they have 10 on us. And 20 on defense, not quite 20, 15 on defense. Because we're at 188 and 125, so we're actually very close to the Boscarans in strength. And only the Mortalan are, are stronger than the Boscarans, so we are third in rank here. Which is pretty nice after playing the Tekans. And we're going to be the Fly Pie Fighting Frogos, which is going to be the title of the series, of course. And uh, so you should have seen that already. We're not going to play Feudalism, we're going to play the Republic game, come on. Because that's a 25% swing in colony co uh, corruption reduction. We would be at minus 10 with, the fo with feudalism and that's just not acceptable. And also colony happiness minus 10. That's another 20% swing in money. <sighs> There's just no reason not to take Republic every time. Republic is just the best and the only one. Um, we're gonna start in the deep core. We'll see how that goes. At least we have a lot of stars around us. And hopefully can, uh, you know, colonize a bit. And hopefully are not boxed in by other empires. We have one empire less than before. Oh, and also our home system will be normal this time, not excellent. The expansion will be starting as always, protect uh, level pre-warp, yada, yada, yada. But we've given all the other empires level zero in tech. Everyone. Also our, you know, big boss. Let's, I don't want to give them too much again. Um, it was a nice challenge, but I'm not sure how, how I play with this faction, so... Whatever, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And everyone else has tech level zero, so they can fight the pirates a little bit more effectively. Hopefully that helps. And I've also given the Tekans because they struggle so much most of the time. Because of their extra colony. The AI especially. I mean, I was struggling as well, but the AI is even struggling worse. I've g given them an agreeable home system. Not even excellent, just agreeable. We could even test it, you know. Let's give one of them excellent, the other one agreeable, and see what works. If both work, we'll only give them agreeable in the future, but we'll see. And that's about it. Even the big boss is not going to be that much of a boss this time, but, you know. Um, they could be random? Let's put them a little bit more distant, why not? It's fine. Although... Probably average will push us back already, so let's put average, it's fine. 
Starting expansion, no one has more than starting. Um, but they all ha will have the hyperdrive. Victory condition threshold is gone down to 70% again because that's more reachable. And we'll have 100 years until that comes into effect because 100 years is minimum time for this game. Let's get started and let's see how it goes, guys. God, I still wish I could get these loading screens as pictures for the thumbnails. They're so good. But all the PR guy sent me from... Was that Slytherin Games? No. Yes? I'm not sure. The PR guy of the publisher sent me two pictures. That's all. It's ridiculous. Uh, our faction is known as the Flypie Fighting Frogos. Our government is the Republic. We are the Harkonnish, who are typically aggressive and unreliable. Oh, great. We are so full of ourselves already. Harkonnish have natural skills in engine research, counter espionage, hyperdrive research, hyperjump speed, ship energy savings, and war variance reduction. Our leader is Uki Lapuri, skilled in trade, income, and counter espionage. Interesting. Our trader, uh, our leader is skilled in trade and counter espionage. Uh, we have to get rid of him. Our home colony is Dillard 6, a marshy swamp planet in the Dillard system. Nearby is the rocky metallic moon Beowulf. Interesting. Or Boilf. I love this. This going in here. We are on the new patch, by the way. The 1.0.8.3 is the current patch. And apparently we're already losing money. Well, that is a great sign. Of a great economy. Um, marshy swamp planet with 2 billion people. Sure, we have some... What's it called? Carbonite? Carbonite. Yes. And we don't know what's in here. Cool. That's our system. So far, so good. It's a normal system. It's not going to be that impressive like with the Tekans. But we really needed that there. Um, we have the early warp fit experiments. Let's make that a little bit quicker. Because the others have that on us already. Uh, Starship has been constructed. We're going to construct a spaceport. There you go. It's not one of my favorite designs, these guys. New general. If you want, if you want to be in the campaign, by the way, and want to be, I don't know, the leader, the general, whatever. Uh, whenever I kick the leader out, I'm gonna keep the name, though. If the leader dies, it's fair game. But if I'm gonna kick him out, oh god, and I'm gonna kick him out right now. Uh, then... No, not keep. Go away. We need a better one. You you suck. God, I wish I could do that in Victoria 3, guys. Oh, I wish I could do that. By the way, if you want to... New leader already? Oh, that's quick. If you want to play along in this game... No, that's not... No, no, that was the old leader. Uh, there is the seed in the beginning that you can always use. I also posted that into the Twitch chat, but, uh, you know, if you see that on YouTube, then you probably can't see that. And maybe you can, uh, you know, tell me then what happened to you at this time. Oh, look at these ugly ships. <laughs> it has something of an um, Federation vibe, vibe, though, a little bit. A little bit Romulan as well, because of the green, I guess. Not because of the, really, of the... Warbird things. Warbird uh, visuals. Got a scientist. Again, use your channel points if you want to be in the game. We don't know what the scientist can do so far. What do we want after this? Um, I also was thinking, maybe we don't want our... Oh, you have gravitic weapons. Oh, baby, yes. That is a very big size weapon, though. Oh, God. Uh, but maybe we don't want to go and uh, tangle with pirates in the same way this time. Maybe we just want to murder them and not, you know, take them. Although, you know, we're going to murder them when we play the Boscarans. I think we're going to do the usual stuff right now. Which means we need energy deflectors for sure. And it also means we need uh, maneuvering. And then we need the the stuff that comes up then. You got the best fuel storage in the freaking game. That is very end game numbers there. The 150. Yeah, while others get 110. It's not that much of a difference, but it, it's going to be a difference. Um, we also want these two. I don't know when. We also want the research labs as soon as possible. I hope we can find some. Some research spots so we can extend our labs. We start with early pulse weapons, which is interesting. We don't start with ion weapons. Maybe we should put that in as well. Because we'll need it. It's very 
close to the Tekans, actually, which is strange to me. In that we can... Um, we are also going towards Gravitic and, and Tractor Beam weapons. Pop Growth and Espionage. I mean, I don't care about the Espionage. It depends on what you're becoming soon. You know, that is good. Strong economy. I like it. That is also very good. Strong economy is nice. We're still building our space station here. I really love this game, guys. It's so good to play this again. I didn't want to play this already. But since we finished we finish Spider-Man early, um, and we still have some time today, I was convinced by chat that we should play this. And you're right, it's good. But keep in mind, when Dwarf Fortress comes out, I have to switch. <laughs> I have to leave everything and go and do some dwarfing. Because I'm very interested in how they change the stuff there. Uh, so much. I mean, the design is okay. There are worse designs. Like the Teak and Fighters, which are just Lego blocks. Another freighter. Our civilian economy is building stuff. That's good. We are already at good numbers in terms of monies. What's our budgets looking like? A lot into research and very few into growth. We could go up to 50 here. That's fine. 50-50. It's not enough, though. It's not enough. You know what? When in doubt, go to zero on the growth. Because research is far more important. Spaceport constructed. Yada, yada, yada. Up for trade and stuff. We should upgrade our spaceport with other capabilities like shields. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Maybe give him some shields, that would be good. But at the moment, we're still on the warp field experiments. We are on slow research again, as we always are, because that's just more fun. But for a space station, cool. Yes, do that. It's fine. We need some, some extra stuff here. It's a bad station, though. This is not a good station. It's not a good placement. This one is better, because it can capture all of these asteroids. Actually, this one as well, I think. Because it's this one. Yeah, this is already captured. This is already in there. Oh, the station's here. Yes. No, that's a miner. Where's the station, the second one? Miner. Miner. Light freighter, light miner. What the hell? Where's the station that I just said yes to? It's here. Yeah, see? This is a bad spot. This is a bad spot, guys. No. I say no. I still say no. Stop it. Let's cover some resources. That's good. That's in here. No, it's not. Where did we discover this? Did we discover this in the in the thing I blew up? <laughs> really? Okay. Well, fine then. See? Here would be a good place for a station. Because that could at least cover three. If we put that here... That might cover this one as well. So we would cover four. So this station would be better. Let's go here. It's also not worth it, really, but sure, it's fine. I know it's unnecessary micro, and it is. Ah, we got some industrial research here. Perfect. Definitely want the research station, definitely want the other station. That's all the steel and the mebna and the aculum we need for now. That's good. Uh, Guys, this... Yeah, I think we have to, right? This is the Froggos, so we should probably design all the ships this time, not only the, uh, the military ones. Oh, that's going to take a bit of effort, though. But maybe we should. Maybe not the miners. I don't really care about them. But at least the freighters we should also take a, take a look. What would you say, guys? I don't like to 
do that so much because it just takes a lot of time, but maybe it's it's important. Yay, we got hyperspace technology. Isn't it beautiful? Let's get some nice shielding. Another scientist has been has appeared. Uh, you are good at construction hyperdrive. You know, uh, uh, it's not all research. Another exploration ship, fine. Since we can build quicker now. Um, this one needs to be first priority. <laughs> okay, fine. Finish the miner first. I don't really think we need that many mining ships, but sure, if you think so, game, it's fine. Mining ships drop off in importance so fast. They're good if you are under... Uh, if you have a problem with one resource or something, that's great, but... Yeah, look at this. This is, this is good. This is a good position. But otherwise, they're really bad. I mean, why would you need them? And even if you can control them, you cannot call them to stop, you know. You tell them, yeah, mine this resource, and if you figure out, oh, well, he's half filled, and we don't need that resource anymore, you can't tell them to stop. You can just explode them. As far as I've seen, at least. I've never tried. But with the mercantile um, government that we can have here as well. Oh, that's a good planet, actually. Diameter is pretty weak, though. But uh, with the government that we have, you can usually do that. There's the first hyper jump. The secretive disturbance. There it is. Ah. The first FTL jump ever for our species. Well, in recent times. Oh, we're starting in 2757. Right, right, right. Okay. Is it only a month in right now? No. We're probably starting in 56? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably a year in already. And that's fine. All the others already had this hyperdrive. Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't mean that they used it better. Oh my god, look at all these drones. Look at all the little drones that he's sending out. Yes, Keslon. That's what we need. Give me this. And another one as well. But Keslon is is what we need. Sad that they got gotten rid of all the other sources. Um, of all the other fuels and, and the different techs you could go into. But maybe that was just too complex. We're making great money. Oh my god, with the Tekans this would have been great. We're making money like crazy sauce. Why are we making so much money? You know, I enjoy how chill this game is. We're making money on ships, probably, yeah. And our economy is making good money. Mm -hmm. Facility maintenance. I don't have to change these if, the, if you set them once, I think. We don't need that many troops. Uh, it's probably too many anyways. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, we need low and low. It's fine. We don't need that many. It's just two pe two squads. Two Froggo squads. They are getting experience though from somewhere. Because that's not the usual number. We had 188 and 125 and not 131 and 197. Uh, okay, cool. We found some stuff. Neat. Definitely built that because, you know. It's luxury resources. You always need luxury resources. It's fuel and luxury resources you should always build. There's no um, concern there. You will never overburden your economy with that. I, I don't think so. That would really surprise me if, if that ever happened to anyone. If they overburdened their economy with something as, as necessary as luxury resources. Hmm. An ancient ship our explorers have scented. S scented. You're in space. There is no scent. But sure. Uh, I, th I think that was probably the co-pilot that did that, you know, just just to make sure. 
Anyway. Uh, a remarkable discovery. Hidden deep underground on Dillard 4 is the... Oh, if we change, uh, should change the main planet. Uh, main planet's name. Guys, use your, use your points. Uh, the outer hull of what we believe to be an ancient spacecraft. What is it? Where did it come from? Is it something alien and unfathomable? Fathomable? B -b 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 uh, which might somehow harm or corrupt our people. The unknown is always repulsive, and yet perhaps there's something to be learned from this wreckage. Retrieving this artifact intact will be neither easy nor inexpensive, but as the old saying goes, sometimes you must spend credits to make credits. Exactly. A safer course, however, might be to scrap it using its constituent parts of, uh, to further our own exploration efforts. What should we do? Should we repair it? Or should we demolish it? Are we scared of the knowledge and the past? Or want, do we want to use it for personal gain? Guys, repair or demolish? One, one of the two. Do it now. I got my magic red-sided dice. I mean... Sure. One, two, three is repair and four to six is demolish. What would you say? I mean, I could do that too. It's not a magic red dice. It's a magic white one. But, you know, magic is magic. Mine says two. What does yours say? Perfect. Repair. Done. Spending the money. With diligent patience and meticulous planning, our brilliant engineers have managed to dislodge this ship from the rocky vault that has encased these long centuries. The evidence now confirms our suspicions. This ship was indeed designed by and for ancient Arconish explorers. Legends tell of a glorious Arconish trade empire that once spanned the stars, and surely this is proof. Fragmentary logs are written in a language that is difficult to understand, likely a form of... Uh, ancient Harkonish. Our scientists were able to glean that the ship had already visited several other locations of the system in its search for a safe haven. I hope we don't get those informations. Uh, those, this information. Quite interesting, but also disturbing. A safe haven from what? What is out there in the vast expanse of space? We must assume anything we encounter as a threat. We have found technology that was advanced, that has advanced our understanding of stable warp fields. Well, that's good. A polymer source was found. That's also pretty good. Dillard 4. Oh, that's here. Neat. Polymers are nice. Research station has been constructed. That that one looks pretty cool, actually. Look at that. With the, you know, gyroscopic rings. <laughs> uh, suitable scientists. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, scientists will go here and will do their research thing. Cool. That's pretty neat. We also get some research from this here, so research should go up. Uh, its output is 50 right now, okay. Well, that must cost a pretty penny, actually. Yeah, that costs us quite a, quite a bit of money. But we can still manage to do it, so that's fine. Dillard 1 has some... Rosalia. Ooh. Volcanic one. And also a facility for colony development and stuff. Uh, it's not a great planet though with five coloni colonization suitability. It's not going to be a thing for us right now. Maybe if we can terraform it and find some Boscarans or something. Or even better, Shanda. Oh, Shanda are the best. Decreasing corruption in the whole empire. That's just the best that you can have. Mine is red and transparent. Must be magic. I, I see. Uh, yeah, I have some special ones as well, but they were out of reach. I only have this one lying around for these circumstances. So far, the new patch seems nice. <laughs> Not that we have, you know, seen anything from the patch. I love how much they optimize this. I hope this goes on in the, in the end game as well. Maybe with the fewer stars. We'll see. Yeah, still, I, I put the neb uh, nebulas on very rare, but look at this. At least I hope I did. Hmm. Doesn't look that rare. Sure, complete that base. In our system, that is very scary, actually. 
And we also found Aquasian Incense. That's a really good one. It gives more population growth. Man, must be an aphrodisiac. And we finally got that. That's neat. Um, crash this one as well. We'll crash ourselves through this research phase. What do we need after this? Yeah, we need one one more after this. What would we do after after the next one then, which is the boarding tech? Maybe better mining could be now 27 years. No, no, no. Five years sounds better. So maybe better civilian ships, maybe better construction. Uh, no. You know what we'll get? This. We don't need transport system just yet because we don't have another colony, so that's fine. But we need these three for sure. Better coordinated uh, control is nice. Planetary governance, as soon as we can grab it, it's gonna be ours. Oh, I hope they they add more to the research tree at some point as well. That would be so fun. Since I played so many campaigns, now I know it by heart almost. So not ideal. I hope everyone got, got their upgrade in for the um, hyperdrive. We can also go towards the next hyperdrive. Yeah, stable warp fields is already a little bit in there. Not that much, actually. That wasn't a good haul. What was that? Maybe 50 points or so? It's not much. No, not even. Maybe 25. Is what it looks like. Better pulse blasters. Yeah, I mean, they're still broken. Broken good. And I'm sorry, even if you say, oh, they are so short range. No, they're not. They're really not short range. It's a thousand range here. I, I don't care for the fighters. It's the S Blaster. The S Blaster is already a thousand range, and that only grows. But if you have a Titan Blaster, there's 1.5k in range. That's ridiculous. Look at this. This has a, th a thousand range. They're both literally the same right now. Look at that. 900 or 1,000. It doesn't make any difference. 1,000 is not much in this game. It's really not much. This should be like 10,000. Then it would make be, made, uh, would, would be a difference, you know. Because then you could shoot from one side of a solar system to the other. And that would make sense with these, with these things. Because they're actually very weak. If you look at this. And I looked at this so many times. Oh, it even shoots twice per volley. That's nice. The M, M particle beam. Cool. But, you know, it does less damage. It does more DPS for whatever reason. Probably because of the accuracy. Yeah, it's a little bit more accurate. That is not really... That doesn't really make any difference. Um, max range damage goes down by a lot. Well, it's two points, but still. Does it have any... No, it can't circumvent shields or anything. That's good. That's really good. This one? I don't see anything, so no. That's actually pretty good. For both of them, to be honest. I still think these are too overpowered against these guys. These... Actually... Against against the blast weapons, against the early ones, these need an, uh, a buff. Against the Titan Blaster, the Titan Blaster needs a nerf. And and all of the ones come coming after it need a nerf, I think. To fit better in, in their niche. At the moment, they just don't have any niche. And that sucks. They're just too overpowered. And I said that many, many, many a time. And some people still don't believe me there. See it differently. I don't know why. If you do, it's fine. Tell me why. I'm interested. Um, we should probably get more uh, more construction ships. How many do we have here? Five. Let's double these and get one more here as well. We should have the money for it. And we'll grow into the other stuff very soon. We'll have to pay a lot to upgrade them, but it's fine. Um, oh yeah, and we're hang uh, hindering our research now. Well, that's okay. I hope. I still want to expand fast. 
The blasters hit way too hard. That's the problem. Because they are not hard-hitting weapons. They shouldn't be. They should be good to, you know, fire fast. Uh, but hit weak. While the... Um, while the beam weapons should actually fire slowly and hit hard. You know? Hard burst damage. A very high burst damage and these it's fine that they are good at interception they're really good at interception if you think about it 7.0 damage most most real pd weapons don't reach that high in damage they're really good at that and that's fine if you know they don't hit that hard in general the beam should be mounting damage what's mounting what do you mean with mounting damage the rail guns should be slow and hit hard as well yes the ray guns are about the same as the beam, actually. Maybe the beam should be double their range, and these should be shorter range to fit their niche. And also, they. I mean, the shield bypass makes sense with ranged weapons, and the armor reduction, that makes sense. It makes them very useless, but it makes sense. Um, well, the beam should maybe be different, you know? It should maybe have a problem with shields and hit harder through armor. And that would actually make a lot of sense. Then you would need to combine, like, let's say, for a long-range ship, rail guns with beams. And, you know, you use the rail guns to punch through shields. And you use the beams. Well, actually, it should not punch through shields. It should actually do normal damage to shields then. And use the beams, you know, to punch through the armor and go into the internals. That would make sense. That would be a really good combination. And it would be... Uh, a niche for every of the two weapons it would be great long range you know slow firing but one gets rid of shields the other one gets rid of the armor and the internals which is perfect that's a perfect combination and that's how these weapons should be designed they're not though and that is a problem for me i don't like that and i think every little weapon needs a revision and needs to be put into a a useful place and b niche that fits them and the problem is that they are not and i wish they were it would be so be so much better it would be, be so much more fun this is actually a planet that would be nice to colonize because we can get that over 20 percent very easily and it is okay in size it's not great but that would be an easy colonizable planet we just need someone who can deal with those and get the first stage of terraforming and we would be fine with that planet um, until it stops, like heat damage, like it's constantly increasing. Oh, like a void ray? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. That would probably not make sense. Um, I, I don't know. But it depends on how the stats turn out. Maybe it would make sense. I don't know. Haven't thought about that though. Oh, there's another source of Kazlon here. That's pretty nice. Oh, and there's also the bad spaceport that's probably gonna murder us. Joy. We have put that on the repair list, though. On the exploration ship, we should repair as well. Why ever that is in here. That's not ours, though. Oh, so we got the ship out, repaired it, but it's not repaired. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And we get a free exploration ship with that as well. And the tech for the... That's pretty good, actually. Think about it. Okay, there is someone coming. Or maybe it is in here somewhere. Maybe you just can't see it because it is stuck into in the model for some reason. Fine. Uh, maybe this way. Yeah, see, there's one. I don't know why it does that, but it's getting stuck in the model sometimes while repairing. We got the maneuver thruster. That's neat. Get this one. Then we want... Where is it? The boarding. We don't necessarily need the boarding. We can kill everyone with iron weapons. That's fine. But we definitely want to look into that. And they still cannot drag it. Damn it, game. Is there a button? Nope. Nope. Not alt, not control, not shift control, not control alt, shift thing. Nope. We can't put it on top of the list. Come on, developers. Please give me that option. Please, guys. Your game is great, but it could be so much better. Oh, Clans of Superiority. Uh, well... 
I'm gonna pay them for sure. Because these are our guys. It's Pyrofaction no, 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 Hakonish. Yeah, see, that's what we want. Yes, and I was thinking that. Um, may pleasing odors fill your nostrils, lost siblings. We see you have unshackled yourself, uh, yourselves from a life of gravity and unfiltered air. We are the clan of... Well, unfiltered air is not really true. You, you know, nature filters the air, but sure. We are the clan of superiority. Once we were soil pounders like you, but now we are free. Our ancestors were, were early off-world miners who stumbled upon some ancient ship technology that allowed us to leave our home system in the limiting tether of land and sky. You inferiors still cling to the old way. The clan of superiority is unbound and prosperous. Still... You are Hakonish and not unlike us. We will consider trading with you if you are willing to invest in our mutual prosperity. It is an opportunity you should not miss. If you reject us, you are no Hakonish, but rather filth to be expelled into vacuum. And we will not countenance uh, your presence in our space. So, will you give me an... There it is. Uh... I mean, rail guns are ballistic. It's a beam, right? You keep it on target for some time. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be a continuous beam that just never stops. You can have it fire and then stop to not have it overheat. I feel that would set it apart from the slow, high-impact ballistic weapons. I think just having the ballistic weapons destroy shields harder. You know, give them extra damage on shields and less damage on armor and do the reverse for the beams would do the trick already. It would set them apart completely and would actually make them useful, you know, in tandem, together. Because they're both long range, they attack two different parts of the ship and make you able to long range kill ships with them. Perfect. Perfect combination. Why would you need anything else? That would actually give them a niche that you want to use. And you could also combine them with other weapons that, you know, combine beams with another weapon that destroys shields very easily on long range and you're done. And it would be so much more useful than it is right now, which is none. None usefulness whatsoever. Beams are complete crap. You should always go blasters, only blasters, that's it, done. There's no other weapon needed in the game and that's just boring. And ha has no strategy in it. Because missiles, well, you know, torpedoes could be a thing. Because if you have a weapon that can't shoot most of the time, like in the back or something, weapon slot, you probably want a torpedo on there so it can always shoot. But, you know, that's all. Missiles are usually crap unless it's PD. Because missiles, I mean, we can look at that. It's just ridiculous how, how infrequent they fire. They cannot even be used to really overwhelm PD because they just never fire. And because their damage is divided per... Um, shot they fire in one salvo. So if they fire 10 shots, well, that's great. But if they only have 10 damage, then every shot has one damage and will never do da do any damage to any ship ever. Because it's just not enough. They will never punch through anything. As uh, if they, they can hit all the armor they want, the armor will never break from missiles. And that doesn't make any sense because missiles are made to break armor. They're literally there to strip armor. That's their only sole purpose. Uh, and And, you know... Seek. Oh, I'm just talking about how the weapon could be interesting. Yeah, I mean, that would make it more interesting, but I don't talk about interesting right now. I'm talking about strat strategy. I'm talking about what would make it at least useful. It doesn't have to be interesting. It just needs to be have a use. At the moment, most weapons don't have a use. They're just there. And using them is actually detrimental to you. So why would you use them? Strategically thinking, you know? It's just complete bogus, complete nonsense. It's like someone designed those weapons who has no idea about strategy whatsoever, you know, it's just all oh, fancy colors or something. And that's just, it's just sad. I want that to be changed because I want it to matter what you choose. And I want it to have different, different tactical viewpoints on them, you know, on the weapons. When, when do I want to use what weapon, you know, like carriers need to you have long range weapons because they're usually far away. So giving them short range weapons is, you know, dumb <laughs> so i want to have that to consider and at the moment it's just actually detrimental to give them anything to be honest i was just thinking in another direction yeah absolutely yeah i mean yeah i know your direction and it's fine absolutely cool but uh, not the point in my in my opinion 
Because they need to be useful before they can be interesting. We could make them more interesting as well. There are a lot of things you could do, I guess. And I think, but, uh, you know, first I want them to be useful. I want them, I want to feel like I want to use them in some specific circumstances, you know, in maybe in a broad circumstance. It's fine. Okay, it's fine as well. It's, it's good to have maybe a weapon that is more general, but maybe do, does less in that in every single instance, you know, that's also a fine thing that could be in there. Like, maybe make missiles like that or something, but having uh, having them on a 30 second cooldown firing, you know, eight missiles at once that do 0.47 damage each is just useless. If, if any armor that you have in the game, even the lowest armor has at least one uh, reactiveness which just negates all the damage of every missile. Why would you use a missile? You, 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 there's no reason for it. And they don't even punch through armor at all. They only punch through shields, which is complete bogus, because they will never do any damage this way. Give them, give them per missile, give them 10 damage and not, you know, one per. It just makes no sense. Then it would make sense to use them because they could, you know, punch through shields and the remaining damage that punches through could actually do something against the armor. Then it's a useful weapon. This way it's not. Anyway, we're, we're digressing. Pirate decision. The news of these Hakonish space dwellers uh, has caused confusion and anxiety on the home world. They were once Hakonish, once like us, but they have become something strange and uncanny. Something alien. Ooh, alien. How dare they? It is disturbing, and yet they know things we do not. Have developed technology that is unfamiliar to us. They speak of trade and opportunity, so the Hakonish heart still beats within their chest cavities. Sure, sure, buddy. A closer relationship with them will make our people unhappy, yet the only alternative appears to be war. Yeah, so we could declare them enemies and our people would not be unhappy, or we accept some little unhappiness for, you know, the economic opportunities and also the protection of them, I guess. Uh, because I think we wouldn't even have to invest money permanently in them, just a one-time payment, which is quite good. So what should we do, guys? Right, right, lol. Pay them already? Okay, I pay them. Fine. Investment results. A wise investment which is proof of, of your true Hakonish nature. We are proud to call your siblings. Uh, call you siblings. Oh, we got mining for free. Nice. Speak to our merchants about purchasing fashionable licensed clan of superiority apparel. Oh, nice. <laughs> we got merchandise now, guys. Woohoo! Uh, we will share with you some of what we have learned in our travels, and our commerce shall be your commerce. The future looks prosperous, my siblings. We have found technology that has advanced uh, our understanding of fast mining. You, you invested in us. I did. Fast mining, that's pretty useful. And that's actually 10 years of research or something, and... Sure? Wait a second. I thought that was already included, guys. Apparently it is not, so we still have to pay your protection money? Oh, come on. Sure, we don't have to do that forever. It's fine. That's a little bit awkward, I think. I think this shouldn't be the case. I think you shouldn't pay them... If you pay them the one time, you shouldn't pay them... Uh, shouldn't have to pay them this one. You should instantly get a non-aggressive agree a non-aggression agreement and that's, that should be it. Uh, that would make more sense in terms of the story right here. Build an escort? No, not yet. We don't need it. We have no enemies. But now we have to outgrow the cost. I mean, the other choice is pretty much every other species. Yeah. Wait, what? It's a little off, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we got... Expanded space stations. Did we get that completely? Oh my god, that would be amazing. Oh my god, we just got expanded space stations. Just for free. Okay, that's pretty neat. Thank you. That's cool. I like it. Um. Sure? I'm not gonna go into frigates. We need to go into something that makes us money. Mining is a good start. Because that is actually... Yeah, 15, 15 mining rate per second. That's 50% extra mining that we just got for free. Energy collection is a dead end. Well, that is a problem. That is definitely going to be a problem. Okay. It's de a dead end now. Maybe we find another technology that leads to this. Um, <laughs> better sensors could be nice. Also because they're smaller, that would make sense. 
11 years though of If I'm investing in something really heavily, it should be the research labs, just to make everything else go quicker then. Armor plating is almost done, sure. Let's look at missiles again, while I'm so upset about missiles. Four shots per volley with ten, so that's about 2.5 damage. Let's look at the lowest armor that we have. Reactive rating, two. So... 90% or let's say 75% of the missile's damage is just poofing away with the lowest armor that you can have. And that means shield bypass 25%. So every missile does let's say 2.5 damage. It's not true I think. Is it? Yes it is. It's exactly 2.5 damage. And only 25% of that goes through. Uh, that is 0.75 damage and armor negates 2. So until the shield is down, you will not do even a single point of damage to the armor. Even though 10% goes through, doesn't matter. Because reactive, reactive armor will just eat it. And that means as long as the armor is there... Which you'll only do 0.5 damage to or something, even if you get rid of the shield. 10% goes through. Uh, so 10% of the, of the rest, that is. And that's 0.5. Because 2 is negated. 10% of 0.5 is 0.05. That's no damage at all. You will never kill anything with that. Missiles suck. And, and that's 32 seconds fire rate. Who the hell did this? You know, you should... Give me 10 seconds fire rate. Give me 5 seconds fire rate. Give me 10 damage per vo uh, per shot, not per volley. Then they are strong. Then they're probably too strong. That should be, you know, observed. But, you know, they're maybe not too strong. Because maybe you should counter them with point defense and then it would make sense again they're very strong so you really want to have point defense and if they get through they hurt which they should because they're freaking missiles I, I just don't know I think they were maybe in the first game they were nerfed to death or something at some point and they should just revise it because this is useless should we do beam weapons Last time we went for kinetic weapons because we started with that. We we'll probably go with pulse weapons, but I may want beam weapons as well. Let's let's look at that. I just like beam weapons. They're still strategically unsound. They're still bullshit, but you know. Oh wow, we got armor plating for free. Well, that's nice. Oh god, more pirates! Yay, pirates! We already seen pirates. Thank you. Yes, we do the treaty. It's fine. I'm gonna ignore you here. I'm not gonna do the escort, guys. We're paying a lot for the exp uh, for the treaties. Torpedoes should be the railgun of equivalent uh, equivalent of missiles or something. Mm, no, a railgun is not a shotgun. I think what you're thinking of is a shotgun that should do. Oh well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure it should be the equivalent of missiles. I think it's the equivalent of uh, beam weapons. I think that, that fits way more into their thing. They need a little bit more range for that as well, because they're too short range, in my opinion. And since the shot in space just goes on forever, why not give them a little bit more range until the damage drops off? There's nothing stopping them, literally. They, they could have infinite range and would be fine. You know? With these... Uh, with, with beam weapons, that's a different story, because every little piece that is in the way will disperse them. So yes, they should have a finite range, but these guys? Nothing will disperse them at all. There's The only thing that could slow them down is mass. Gravity. So maybe that should call for a range problem in here, because, you know... It's, it's not like we would fight on these ranges that, were, where that would make a difference, so maybe not. I don't know. It, it just needs revision. What the revision is, maybe I'm not qualified to say. I don't know what it should be, but there should be one. 
Uh, you know what? I want to stay. I want stable warp fields here. And I want these a little bit earlier than boarding, I think. I don't think we don't need boarding that much. We need to outgrow the cost here, otherwise we'll be dead. Torpedoes should be the railgun of equivalent uh, of equivalent of missiles or something. Oh, torpedoes, I think. Oh, I think I misread that. I mean the slow big hitter. Yeah, 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 that, that makes sense, yeah. And it is, it is a bad, it is a better one than missiles. The devs should listen in on, on your rants? I don't know. Maybe they should, maybe sh they shouldn't. There are probably other people uh, that, that can do this better. But... Would definitely be nice to be heard. I could write something up on the Discord as well, but I just don't... I don't think it would make any difference. I'm not sure anyone would listen to me anyway. It still feels awkward to me, these how the weapons are made. It just feels like they never thought about, you know, how they would be used or how they could be used much. And that is also awkward because I don't think they wouldn't. I, I want to know what they thought about there while designing these. Um, and if they really, you know, draw them up next to each other and compared them every little, every, every stage. Probably not. Maybe they did. I don't know. But for me, that is really flawed there. Uh, construction research from underwater geothermal window. Cool. Where's that colony? Is that a trader thing? Yeah, that's a loan trader thing. Okay, cool. Thank you, loan trader. Oh, that's pretty close. And I, I mean, the Quormeno are not the best. I do still like him, though. Uh, invasion when able is not what I want, though, guys. Uh, no. <laughs> Please, diplomacy. Thank you. I'm gonna invest that money. It's fine. It's it's actually still good. We got our first spy. That's neat. Should we look into ship designs? Let's see what we have here. That's probably the most important one right now. Not keen on construction ships and exploration ships. I don't really care about them. Um, I'm keen on escorts. That should be manual upgrading. And maybe even the, the freighters. But we'll see about that. But definitely the escorts. Let's look what we have here. If we go and upgrade. So this is our escorts. Only one weapon on there. Oh god. And it is an, it is an M weapon though. That's good that's really good that's very strong because that means we can have the uh, the ion lances on them later that's pretty neat we have two defenses also pretty pretty neat yeah the proximity sensors are still size 10 that's not good okay but we can do something with this because this weapon is pretty nice We could have a really big weapon on there. Wave bomb is bad though. We don't want to kill ourselves. But this is interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm picking that up. That's fine. What are you putting down here? It's good. It's a good thing. Pretty large turn range. 270 degrees, yeah. Also very good. Only right behind him they cannot fire. That's pretty strong actually. And we can go with M um, ion field projectors, M size, which we don't have yet, but later we will. Um, that is neat, so that makes them quite a bit stronger. And we can also get the lance, which is even better, although the slow fire range. But we can get that in there, so maybe we can finally use the whole size of the ship for once. Usually it doesn't have enough slots, but... So far, we are fine. We're paying a lot, but we're also, you know, getting enough cash in from our economy to stay afloat and to stay active. No, I, I'm not going to give you an escort. I'm going to give you the exploration ship. That is fine. You want three more? Sure, get that. That's cool. Because I want three more as well. Mm, probably want one of those as well. It's maybe a little bit early, but let's just prepare for what's coming. Which is all of this goodness here. Oh yes, look at it. 
Interesting. We we didn't have the Emerald Crystal last time. Maybe some resources don't spawn in a universe. This is probably not worth it. This could be worth it, but the others I'm not going to do. There's no resource that we really need. Later we will have those, but at the moment they're just a burden for the for the economy. But the rest here, that's really nice. The quartz, the necrostone, the silicone. 100% silicone. Wow. Which data should we download? As our team enters the base, it automatically initiates a wipe. That's the base down here, which it doesn't show. The spaceport. Automatically initiates a wipe of the central computer core. We only have time to download one piece of information, either some star system maps or important research data. I mean, it's the breakthrough, right? Right? It's the breakthrough. Or should we go with some system maps, yay, that we cannot exploit for a while? Yeah, it's the breakthrough. Transport systems. I mean, it's not a great one, but it's tech. Tech is preferable most of the times it's a really neat station though look at this thing this is pretty this is really beautiful in my opinion i mean it's a little uh it's not hd but sure otherwise it's a great station i'd still like to scuttle this one because is it really useful for us has it mining capabilities it's really weak it does have some good tech, though, which we could gain. And I bet we got some armor tech from this while we were repairing it. That's why we got so much tech all of a sudden. Also has quantum reactors. But the real way to get this tech is just destroy it. And I don't think we need it. It has a construction yard, which is nice, but we have to ferry construction resources here. And eh. I dislike that you can't keep their look when upgrading them. Oh, yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, again, it's a little uh, pixely, but otherwise, it's beautiful. It's a nice design. It's very symmetric and still asymmetric here in the spire. Pretty cool. I, I really like that. This asymmetry looks great. God, I wish we had a... We had a you know, species with that design uh, choice here. That's really nice. Should we destroy it, guys? Because at the moment, it's just a resource drain for no reason. Fortunate is... Oh, okay, there is already someone building a mining station. Yeah, we can't even use it to mine, so... Is it that useful? It would have a gas giant a gas giant next to it, so it could be, you know, be a refuel point, but you know, all refuel point is there. Does it really make a difference? It could theoretically build things, but it's so far away and it needs all the resources brought to it that it's not really worth it, I think. They request credits. Oh, they sell us okay. They sell us some some maps, but I don't need them. What do I do with maps? I can't even leave the system yet. Go away. Oh, I love how many ships we have already, and this uh, the space is getting so busy around our planet, and soon it's going to be busy in our system, and then it's going to be busy uh, in the systems around us, and then the whole freaking, freaking universe. It's great. Oh, actually, galaxy. So we got the thing. Wait, can we? Definitely gonna do that. Uh, we got the the ion weapon now. So we'll definitely upgrade you with some ion field projector. We have the deflection fields. We actually can have more sensors. That is a very big difference to the Tekans. They have a lot more sensors available, which will be nice. Um, we still don't have boarding tech, but that is fine. We don't really need the boarding tech right now. We don't have better engines or anything. Should we name this something special? I mean, what does this look like? I'm not going to say it, what it looks like. Um, not going to say it. But... 
What name could we give this thing? There must be a good name. It has a little bit... It's a little bit short on energy here. It could... Put in another... Basic reactor. To have enough energy for it. It's probably wise. Although we need more crew. Can we do this? We can. With preserving um, the fuel. And that will give it 23 million units fuel range which was nice turn rate is pretty crappy we have the we have the thruster we have the directional thruster that's way better although i think we don't even need the turn rate we just need speed because you know it can shoot look at that look at the bubble here it literally can't shoot behind it but that's all that's all there is so I don't even think we need that much turn rate because we will ha we will easily keep everyone in there. The Frogger Mark One. I mean, okay. Uh, I'm gonna call it the Frogger because uh, it will automatically give them one, version one or version two. And if I mess with Mark One, then it's gonna be Mark One version one, version two, version three. So I'm not gonna do that. I wish you could change it from saying version to Mark. That would be cool. Uh, somewhere in the settings or something. That would be neat, but you can't as far as I know. 3 million units jump range and 23 million fuel range. Uh, it needs a lot of a lot of jumps. 7 jumps it can do. So 3 there, 3 back would be the thing. 3 engines is a limit. Yeah, sure. That's fine. We have the Frogger. And we can build it now. Maybe we should. How many would be built? If we build 20, what that what would that do to us? We could. It's gonna be expensive, but we could. For now, I don't think we need it. There's no threat somewhere. Hey, Fenmore, how are you doing? Copy as new? Why? Why would I? There's no reason for that. Actually, it would make everything worse, because... If I do that, um, it would keep it as an active design, unfortunately. And I don't want that. Manual retrofit. Oh, that's the new one. Oh, yeah. This one is probably better than ours, huh? Yeah, see? And it would keep it as an active design and wouldn't uh, put it in obsolete. And then I would have two here to, to choose from. And I don't want that. The ver There is no version number right now because I renamed it. And it would still not do a Mark 1 or Mark 2 automatically, which I want. I don't want to do it myself. I want it automatic. That was my point. But yeah, otherwise, copy would be good, yes. Uh, but I don't like how it never um, garbage collects this list here. It should, in my opinion. Anything that is zero amount and uh, has a date created more than one year from the current date should be automatically put as obsolete. At the very least. Or at, at the best circumstance just delete it at all or just 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 delete it or maybe you could do it one year from uh, from the from my current date it gets obsolete it gets set obsolete and 10 years it gets deleted because why would you need that crap in here that is just a list that grows and grows and grows for every empire and just slows down the game for no reason because of you know search function and nonsense it would be so easy to clean that list up with some with two rules <laughs> These two rules I just mentioned could clear this list completely all the time. It would be perfect. When you copy as new to upgrade version number increments instead of giving you version 1, version 2, it will give you mark, what, mark 2, mark 3. Really? Automatically, Fenmore? Really? I haven't seen that. Need to check that. We'll, we'll, we'll test that, I think. Well, thank you for the information. Don't, didn't know. Oh, and we're an hour in. I'm not gonna end the stream yet. We're gonna do one or two more, uh, two more today. Parts, but uh, on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me a like if you liked. New series, so that would really help. Sub my YouTube if you haven't. Also, really, really helps. Thank you for the support. And follow me on Twitter or Twitch, and come to Discord. And I see you there. Rule open. Bye bye. Till next time. <laughs>